is a strange combination of Robin Hood and Baron von Munchausen. Who Munchausen. Is a I don't know what that is, though. Munchausen? Okay. Munchausen. It's, oh, it's a syndrome. Uh, it's a fictitious disorder, a mental disorder in which... Hey, hey, hey don't look it up, because it's going to oh, change it. <laughs> Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Under Budget AV. Uh, this your main man, JV, as always. We're back with another short. Uh, today we got a new character for you guys. Got a new guy He's joining us. Hey guys, you can call me Naps. I'm, uh, I'm Naps, and I sleep. Uh, you got any other details you might want to add? I got a gap in my teeth. <laughs> That's it. I can whistle through it. The people love it. They cheer me on in the streets. <laughs> okay. So today uh, we're watching another short by Ari Aster. It's Munchausen. For all we know, it's, it's pronounced wrong, but I don't think that matters too much. I see. Uh, there's no dialogue in this movie. Oh really? No. Okay. Well, we, uh, we thought it was a moccasin before anyway. It's not, yeah, it's not. It's, it wasn't. It wasn't moccasin. Like the shoe. It, it's not spelled like moccasin either. Now I think about it. <laughs> I mean, we don't. I don't know. I hear the K in there. But all right. So without further ado. Well, uh, we'll start wasting, wasting your time. I'm going to go ahead and press play. Like that, this looks like a bootleg Toy Story starting off. Like it Andy. does have, it does have the Toy Story kind of uh, soundtrack in it. Like Andy's going to college. Like yeah, like so long, partner. Yeah, like, he's pretty. It's, it's pretty bright, pretty colorful. It's got, it's got that uh, that uh, wholesome American movie vibe going on. Well, okay, well, that's my first critique right now, is that they're riding the tandem bike in the wrong way. Because <laughs> it's supposed to be cute. You know? But it's not. They're, not. they're not riding it right. You know, it's cute. Why is he looking at his mom running after him in the rearview mirror but not stopping? Like, what if she has something important to tell him? Because she has kids to go, man. He has to go grow up. But what if she just has something important to tell him? Nah, man. He had to get to the college, get to, get to those babes, man. His mom's literally running down the street, <laughs> though. Like, I just feel like I could have stopped my car briefly. Also, I love the choice of the soundtrack, right? Like the uh, the transition. Yeah, it is. It's from, beautiful. From the Toy Story music to something a bit more serious. Yeah, like a little bit more drama, like a little bit more sinister, or, or something a bit more uh, foreboding. I don't know if this is like her actual interpretation, or I mean, hit the the son's actual interpretation, or what she pictures is, is going on. I would say he, he's picturing he's picturing it because that was the most out of the ordinary cut that we've seen so far. Like the else, yeah. Okay, and there's also time skips. Yeah, I can't imagine this dude being a, no, he a wide ball. receiver he with no muscle ball. mass. Look at that! Look at his helmet, bro. Let's fall over his face. <laughs> his head too small. Like I'm pretty sure this dude just got his arm tackled off. Like, yes, I got it. I'm, I'm... <laughs> the answer is mine today. He's a debater too, man. You know what? She's a, as, as his mom. I feel like she's not imagining him as like a real person becoming an adult because there's no. He's not like at any parties, but she's imagining him as Mr. Popular. I mean, he's. I mean, I, this is kind of of a of an older older time period, so that's kind of the perfect college kid. Oh, okay, you know okay, I, mean? I see. You know, it's pretty. It's, it's kind of classic. I think it's also kind of weird that um the girl that she's imagining falling in love with her son kind of looks like a younger version of her i did not notice that actually. yeah like this is weird i mean it makes sense though of course you fall in love with a with you fall in love with your mom okay no you, know, you fall in love with no, you fall in love with your mom like as a girl looks like your mom but like, this wife. is like this is like i make a baby type of love i don't i'm not comfortable with that and she she's even wearing like the same type the of same outfit yeah yeah as his mom she was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> She's like, "You got a, you got a girl." Like, no, 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 I don't be. I ain't ever had sex yet, mom. No, <laughs> I'm innocent. Bubbling? <laughs> I want some bubbling. <laughs> the best type of soda. Like, yeah, this is like, this is the American, uh, like experience, like like, like the American dream. You know what? I don't know if it's because of, like the type of hair that you and I have, but I wouldn't want somebody just randomly touching my hair. And putting a ring in a muffin is a choking hazard. Is that sweet as fuck though? She why does that? No. Why does that look like a sweet potato? No, it looks like a potato salad muffin. <laughs> I wouldn't eat that. <laughs> it wasn't. <laughs> yes, it. No, man. Like <laughs> it looks like a potato salad muffin. So like, every time it cuts back to her, it's uh, sad again. Yeah, and there's a there's a tone shift. Or there's like a note shift. Mm -hmm. It goes from like high key high notes to to just 
her being sad. So I want to say she doesn't want her son to grow up. Well, that's, that's what it seems like it is, because, yeah. like, um, anytime she's with him, like, I don't know if you noticed or not, but, like, from the beginning, mm -hmm. from when she was with him, to, um, the, like, as it's progressing or gradually, like, him with getting older, the more she's imagining, mm -hmm. it goes from less just, like, higher tones to, like, higher tones, which is, like, her still wanting to be happy for him and him going off to her, like, wanting him to stay, so it's, like, a, it's a dramatic mix of, of the two of just, like, what's going on in her mind. No, 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 not for you, because, like, this latest soundtrack is, uh, edging into that sinister. That sinister, like, if, it, knowing who directed this, mm. it, it, he's definitely pulling the same tones that he pulled from, like, Hereditary. I think she's all, there's also, like, uh, the thing with her son about, you know, him being a, you know, he's, he's young and he can, like, mold his future, mm. but based off what it looks like with her husband, that man's, like, stuck in his ways and he never wants to do anything new. Yeah, like it's basically it, it's very much showing you that like like you can even see from those cuts from like her focusing on her husband to her daydreaming about her son. Her son is her whole life. Yeah, she's living. Well, it also seems like she's living vicariously. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, but it seems like she's living through him because maybe when she was younger, she didn't have as many choices for herself, and that's probably why she feels like she's in a, in a dead end type of marriage. Yeah, was, yeah, because like their marriage, his marriage from like little parts we saw, their romance, especially if if we look if she looks like his his mom, mm -hmm. their romance looks much more happy than their than his his mom and his uh his dad's kind of relationship. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, so it I mean, it could actually be like she's not as weird as it seems, she's not imagining how he's growing up. She's imagining like what could have been with her life if, if she had taken a different path. So I think, yeah, and I think that was all in a, a dream because they kind of rolled back to the exact same two days before I leave. So I think that uh, that was her imagining uh, what was going to happen in his life. Feels bad, man. By the way, that does not look like the freshest sandwich. I would have just, I would have been feeling bad just from the cheese alone, man. Lactose intolerance is a <laughs> thing in life. I take the hip not even ice cream, the, Not even the poison. <laughs> not even the poison. Viewer discretion is advised. I I think it's funny that as soon as she started laughing, mm -hmm. uh, that's when he started coughing. He was he was la she was he was laughing. She was like kind of not feeling it. She start trying to feel it. Then he got sick. And then it was you know like I mean? no joy here. Yeah, like she basically got robbed of the moment that she was trying to get was like basically getting to spend time with her son because he got sick immediately. I just one hundred percent don't like how unuseful the dad is in her mind. Like I feel like that's the portrayal. <laughs> I feel like the, anytime they show the dad. It's her portrayal of him, but it's not actually like him and what he's trying. Because why are you holding a glass of water and a clock? Like, what is what's that gonna solve? I mean, he's gonna he's gonna he's like your time is up, son. No, <laughs> this seems like a prequel to Tobey Maguire Spider Man. It's pizza time. Like, what? <laughs> he has the clock. Like, no, no. Yes. <laughs> This is a hardcore horror movie thing right here. That was a hardcore horror movie, uh, like almost jump scare thing. Is that that's the walrus guy? I believe from Boy Meets World. Yeah. What? We got real actors in it. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah, like that dude. He's a real actor. He's 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 in stuff. I forgot what movie he's in, but he's in stuff. Like these channel stuff, I think. Why are there hardly any more at home doctors? Like, do you think do you think your insurance like would cover less? Or recover more if if your doctor came to you. I mean, what you gonna do at your house though, bro? You got no machines. I guess I guess back in the day, being a doctor was just looking at your throat with with like with like a a toothpick, a, a toothpick, and then like <laughs> a toothpick, <laughs> and then listen to your chest like, yep, this dude's got he's, he's got lung problems. Hepatitis H. Should we get a fact check on the on the spelling on his calendar? I don't think that's how you spell sayonara in Japanese. I mean, he made back in the day. Like, they they never seen Japanese stuff at the time. Fair enough. <laughs> so can we talk about the one watermelon in the in the fruit basket surrounded I don't know about by the fact lemons? That she had a bigger bottle of poison. Did she use all that poison Does already? She, uh, yeah, apparently, like drop by drop. 
I like the palette change. So then, so then it, that's, that, that was nice. That was a nice addition right there, too. That was a nice one, too. Wait, she made chicken noodle soup. Why does it look like tomato basil now? Because it was like, that's the time period, basically. That she made, she was basically poisoning him for that whole time period. So that was, that was the uh, tradition of time, was that kind of moving across the calendar. Like, in her mind, 100%, she has to know this is, this damage is going to be permanent. So this is why I didn't want you to, uh, to to check the meaning of this, because that's what this this disease is, basically. It was like a kind of dramatization of the, of the disease. This is low-key breaking my heart. Like, if I, if I was a dad, I would have suspected something by now. Like, if you were the dad and, and, and like this was your wife and you found out she was poisoning your son so he wouldn't go to college, like, high-key, real-life question, would you throw hands with her? Uh, I probably wouldn't get, let, 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 let it get that far. You know, I might probably <laughs> pay this to my wife and her uh, blank stare that she looks at me when she when she looks at my face. I'm like, hey, honey. She's like, that was a nice uh, a zoom out shot for that for that death. Though. That was perfect. I'm really digging the soundtrack as well. Yo, he didn't he didn't check the pulse. No, because uh, back in the day, if they, if they couldn't bring you back with uh, CPR, you died. Oh, he, he, he was just dead. He used his chest like it was a bongo, though. There was no CPR done. They used his, no, that was it. That was that, that CPR back in the day. I they did those three pumps on his chest, and he didn't resuscitate, so. Uh, they didn't believe in mouth-to-mouth -mouth stuff back in the day. Because, you, oh, okay. you know, being, like, homophobic back in the day. So that's Oh, really? Yeah, that's kind of homophobic back that's in the day. That's a thing? No, I mean, it, but, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> They like using that same uh the same shot from when she was running after him in the car. Mm. And the same thing that she couldn't follow him. So like no matter what, she still couldn't keep him from growing up. Well at least she did keep him keep him growing up. I do wanna say this time she actually can follow him if you catch my drift. No. <laughs> <laughs> There's still some poison left. Wait, did they bury him in the backyard? No, they're reintroducing the action figure thing. Cause now it's in like the dead garden. Oh. Yeah. You know, symbolism. This is just Russian toy story. This isn't me. Is that your Arthur Russian? Maybe? Nah. But he, he, he could be, actually. Alright. Instead of Buzz Lightyear, it's just Buzz Lightbulb. So I, I like this. What do you think? I liked it. Um, scale, scale of 1 to 10, definitely a 9. Uh, critique is, is definitely the husband. There's just no way that my child would be sick. And that, like, I, there's no way that my child would be this sick. And it, it only seems to be happening. Like when he's eating, cause not to, other than that, he's bedridden. Where's he going? What's he doing? Like he can't do anything unless he's getting up in the middle of the night. I mean, back in the day, they probably didn't have the medical knowledge enough to like know. Like they only had the one doctor coming there and kept checking his mouth with the uh, things. He probably was just like, man, it was probably the uh, the popsicle stick thing that was making him sick. If I probably, probably, probably what he was thinking or something like that. But like in my mind, like I I I, I guess I don't know. It's hard for me to process because you and I are clearly in the future. Yeah. Like in my mind. If it seems like he's just getting sicker day by day, but I, I notice that he's eating or drinking, and all he's eating is like soup, mm. and he's drinking water, I'd see if I can make him fast for a minute to see if he got better. I mean, but I don't think that was kind of the, uh, the I, don't, I don't think it was trying to be like a, a, a nice, neat narrative. I think it was trying to be more of a, of a message. Than I'm just saying, the, the, like, the husband's useless. <laughs> <laughs> like, the husband's useless. If that's just the wife's perception of him, or if it's reality, um, they're both accurate, because that man did nothing. I mean, it was probably just to input, uh, to kind of like enhance the difference between the uh, the brightness that he that her son would bring into her life versus the kind of darkness of her husband bringing into her life. Because you've noticed all the scenes where her husband were always like either in the dark, lowly or, lit, or, or lowly lit. Or, he was always in the, in the dark, more more or less. If you want to be metaf if you if you want to be uh, like metaphorical with it and say say they put it on did it on purpose, he was kind of always in the dark. He's always kind of left out of the scene. They always kind of pinned away from him to focus on her and her son. Well, I, I would say he was more of like in. So when when the camera, I don't know if you noticed or not, and I, I could just be imagining things, but when the camera was like facing her and um, it looked like like he was it was like he was in the dark, like you said, but and she was in the light. But when it was facing from his direction, which I think was like once or twice, he was actually in the light, and she was like more of in a dark and like low lit area. Mm -hmm. So that makes me think like there's a message to. Uh, ignorance is bliss because mm -hmm. he's just I mean, it seems like he's just a, a peon in reality yeah. I mean like he's that kind of stereotypical husband from that, from that time period but alright so that one was pretty decent so I liked it 9 out of 10 easily alright so it's good having you on for your first one it's Thanks. good having you on for your first one yeah
<laughs> we'll definitely be back for some more for you guys. I uh, hope you like this one. Uh, oh, um, last words from me. Nope, just call me Naps. Yep. <laughs> Whistle through my gaps, call me Naps. Uh, up and coming rapper. With the with the battering choo choo train Thomas the train. No, okay. That's it. That's it. Okay, we're done. We're done. Cut it. <laughs>